well, I'm with Denzel Bentley, first of all. Denzel, more than anything else. I know it's deafening in here, and I know it was an incredible atmosphere, but how do you feel now the result is coming? I mean, look, well done to Nathan, innit? He had the opportunity and he took it, but I, 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 I don't know, man. I don't know. Judges saw it how they saw it. I thought I caught a lot of these shots, the little flurries on the glove. Obviously, the crowd in there was loud, but um, yeah, look at me, man. He, I don't think he really landed anything compared to what I landed on him, but I know I hurt him a couple of times in there. A lot of the shots he threw, I was catching on the gloves and that, but I guess the ref, uh, the judges just scored it as a shot. Nathan, this will be the perfect time to bring you in. Nathan, no, you're, oh, you're you. fine, you're fine. Denzel's just giving you the credit you deserve in terms of for winning, yeah. and, and of course the atmosphere that was in here tonight, but can you summarise what this feels like for you and what this night means to you? It, it's the absolute phenomenal. Like, People always say, I always dreamt of being a world champion. I always dreamt about being a British champion. I've got to be honest, I never thought I could. I'd always underachieved as an amateur. I always gave me all. I was basically a journeyman as an amateur. I thought everyone was a pro. I've had the backing of the greatest man I could have ever met, and that's Steve Woodvine. He was in my corner for the last ever amateur fight I lost against Zach Parker eight years ago. And then two years later, he became a pro coach, and he's put a belief in me that only he could have done. My dad always said the only person that could ever look after him is himself. But I've got to say, Steve Woodbine is just as good as my dad and loves me just like my dad did as well. So thank you very much, Steve. It's all down to you, mate. Credit to Steve. Nathan, can you put into words how difficult of an opponent Denzel Bentley was? You just said, of course, the ring for 12 rounds. Can you quantify as to what it feels like now? Amazing. I've got to be honest, I always envisioned fighting Bentley in the football ground at Stoke City. But, but I knew if I'm ever to get to Stoke City, I needed to beat someone like Denzel Bentley before and to prove that I deserve to be there. And Simon King said recently that he wants to put events on in the summer in the ground and, 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 and you, could, you could be responsible for creating one of the biggest sporting events we've ever had in the city. So Simon, if you watch this show, mate, let's get you sorted. John Coates loves his boxing, I know he does. And let's, let's make an event that this city will make a legacy from. I, I, I never thought I deserved to be there, but now I'm a British champion. And Frank said the winner will fight for a world title next year. So I've got to take him at his word, and let's get a let's get a world title at the ground. I don't care if we win or lose. Let's just get there. I'm excited. I'm sorry. I keep speaking. Come on, Snow. Go on. Come on Snow. That's how much it means to him, and that's how much this night will mean to him. It's perfect time to bring you in, Frank, because you can see. Look, if these Stoke fans or Stokies, as I've learned to call them this week, have sold out or pretty much sold out Manchester, could you imagine what it means if he could do the football ground? Absolutely. So let's look at that. Try and do that in the summer in a big fight. That's or the spring. It goes without saying. But you know what tonight was? It was the battle of the nice guys. Two of the nicest guys in boxing. A credit to British boxing and British sport. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous fight. And you know what? All the critics again got it wrong. All got it wrong. No, he, he, he's not a one-trick pony. He come to fight, and I think he really, really showed a lot, lot tonight. You know, showed what a, you know what a decent fighter he is. There's no doubt about that. And Denzel, it wasn't his night. Who knows, maybe down the road they could do a rematch. But what a fantastic night of boxing. We've had great fights here tonight. This was a real fighting card. It was a magnificent seven. It was a magnificent seven. You know this isn't the first time you put one of these together. This will definitely go down in the history books. I know we've got a couple of events. Me and you have seen each other a couple of times this week already. Can you quantify how good it's been in terms of for boxing this week as we look ahead to December 23rd and all the other events we've got coming up in the new year? Well, for me, I'm in Boxing Wonderland. You know, I've had a fantastic week. The British boxing's had a great week. We put some fabulous fights together on the world stage and it's culminated tonight with this brilliant card in Britain. And we've got Tyson in with Usyk, we've announced that. That's the fight everybody wants to see. We've got a great card on the 23rd of December. Um, got a AJ on there, you've got Deontay Wilder, you've got a wealth of heavyweights. I think there's about eight or 10 of the best heavyweights in the world on that card. It's not Prosecco as some idiot called it. It's a proper night boxing, you know, and we've got real, real, real good fights coming up. And this is what it's all about. This is brilliant. And tonight, without a doubt, has been very, very special. Very special for me as a promoter. And I'm so delighted for all the fighters who participated. Really good quality fights, brilliant fights. And it was all on CNT.